Hello everyone, how are you? Um, nice to be talking to you. I am really relieved today because my kids have gone back after two weeks of school holidays and you know what they're like. It can be tedious. Um, I'm so glad that they're back and I can get some work done, which is great. But the reason I'm wanting to have a quick chat to you today, it's about uh, babies or your toddler's room temperature. Because just incidentally, like in the last two days, I've had about three mums ask me exactly what is the ideal temperature for my baby's room. They're worried that their baby's waking up because they're cold overnight. So let's um, just have a quick chat about it so you know that your baby is not waking up cold overnight. Ideally, you want their room temperature to be between about 19 and 21 degrees. Uh, they say that that's ideal. Obviously, Australia is a massive country and we all live in different kind of climates within Australia. So um, you want to sort of use your best judgment there and all houses are made differently, room sizes are differently. But if you've got it in about that benchmark, that's generally okay. So the key is though, you want the room to be a constant temperature. It's the fluctuations up and down that wake babies up. Typically, I see a lot of wake ups between around three and five in the morning, often around three or four, especially. And they're just because baby's cold. Uh, babies don't have a lot of body weight. They don't have the body weight to generate heat and sustain heat like we do. And when the temperature drops down around 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, they, they get cold and they wake up because they're cold. And a lot of people mistake that and think they must be hungry or something's wrong with them and they feed them. They start rocking them back to sleep when really they're just cold. So the solution is, and this is what I tell all my mums who I'm working with, just if you have a house that you can't, there's no sort of way of getting heat reliably into your baby or child's bedroom, just buy one of those little column heaters. They're not expensive, they're safe, or any safe heater really. Um, set it in the room, plug it in, and just have it going constantly all night. Set it to around 20 degrees little bit warmer if you've got a really big room and that way you know the temperature in your room is just going to be really constant and there's not going to be that dip in the middle of the night so that's the solution sort the temperature of the room out first nice and constant have a nice warm winter weight sleeping bag on your baby and you will be absolutely fine so check that guys that could be one of the reasons why your baby's waking up overnight check that they're not cold. If you found this helpful or you know anyone that might like to um, know this information, just share the video and give me a thumbs up if it's been helpful or write your comments. I love to know what solutions people are using at home in their own homes because sharing those sort of things really helps other people see what you're doing as well. All right, guys, have a great day. See ya.